Hi, my name is Leon. Thank you so much for subscribing this channel and using my videos for your English speaking and listening practice. To be honest, I never imagined that one day I have to sit in front of the camera and feel myself, just like what I'm doing right now. The reason I decided to speak to the camera and using my own voice is because I've decided to change the video format and maybe the contents either. Well, in the past few weeks, this channel has been expanded very fast from less than 50 subscribers to over 2,000 people. And thanks to all of you guys for your constant support and all the great advices and encouraging messages. Those are the biggest reason for me to move on and keep uploading videos in this channel. As everyone has a YouTube dream now, I begin to think maybe I can also make some extra money on my channel too. After I applied for the YouTube Partnership program last week, which means I can probably put some advertisement on my videos in the future, but my application got rejected. YouTube said the reason my channel was not qualified for monetizing is because all the videos that I upload on this channel are too unchanging and all of them are in a constant pattern. Well, the truth is, yes, I know, I am using exactly the same pattern for most of my videos, but not because I had never thought about other ways to do it. The current pattern is based on my experience of 20 years of learning English and a lot of research and thinking. I intentionally create this video format because I think this is the simplest and leanest format for English learners, especially for English listening practice. However, from YouTube's point of view, the fact that videos kept the same pattern all the time makes them wonder if those videos are just created by machine. And viewers maybe cannot distinguish each of those videos. When I saw their comments, I was so upset. And I've been thinking about, I just, I should just change nothing and keep making and uploading videos of the same pattern like the way I am. But this situation is actually very frustrating because I was so confident that I was doing the right thing and by using the same format for a reason. I kept thinking about this for three days and still uploading new videos as I used to do. But sadly, there's a voice come to my mind. It said, hey, wait a second, why not take it as a chance to improve and to change Sometimes it's not a bad thing. So here I am. I decided to take this opportunity to change and improve the formats of my videos now. As a first step for my new challenge, I put myself in front of the camera. I think it will definitely take time to find better formats or new patterns that I think it's okay for my future videos. If it's possible, please do make some comments to this video and let me know what is the best video format for you to practice English language. Of course, especially for listening and speaking. And thanks for watching this special episode and good luck to your study and see you in my next video. Bye.